Right, so um, I was looking at the website and you can see that the Solo Energy logo is cut on the edges. You are going to have that problem quite frequently um, and it is a bit of a pain in the neck uh, to coordinate it with other people. It is quite useful to know how to do it, um, especially if you happen to be getting lots of logos at the same time. So. Um, let's have a look here. First of all, assuming you don't have a video, uh, graphics editing package, um, go to GIMP.org and click on the download link. It's GIMP.org. Um, and you will see here, um, there's for Linux, OS X, Windows, or whatever. So assuming you're on Windows, click on Windows and download it directly or via BitTorrent with whatever you have available it's a free software and uh, it's very advanced but quite easy to use um, and I will show you now how to do what you need to do for the website um, so you have obviously uploaded already some uh, a few logos so um, I'm not gonna go into that de level of detail so um, just let me start GIMP here now And just got a message from Michael that he has GIMP. Anyway, I'm starting GIMP here. And basically, you go File, New, and here is where you get the size of the canvas or the background or the full size of the image. And you're going to go always for 444 by 278. Click OK. You get the white background. Um, then you open as layers, file open as layers, and you get whatever uh, you found. Uh, I did a search online and I found the PNG for Solo Energy. And as you can see, when it opens, it's too big for the canvas. So if you go to layers, scale, and you can bring this down. I've done it before, so I know pre I have a fair idea of where I can go with this. I'm going to go to 470. And there you go. As you can see now, the full logo fits. Uh, you can go back and increase it if it's too small. You don't want it to be too small. And then you can go File, Export As, pick a name. Uh, I'm exporting it into a temp folder that I'm not going to be using. I'm going to call it Solo Energy PNG. I've already done this for testing. I'm going to replace it. So um, export. Use the automatic um, settings. So we're done with that. Quit. Discard changes because the exported file is up there. And you're ready to import uh, I had already done it uh, this is the second time I'm doing the, the video so but you know how to do this okay uh, sorry and as you're doing it uh, here at the right hand side you have the confirmation of the size of the of the file so this is the correct size and we can see all our files will have the same dimensions and that's it pretty much Talk to you soon.